What is up guys? Welcome to another video. Have you ever wondered how to get your character to aim at your mouse cursor or to get him to look at your mouse cursor? Well wonder no more as today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. But before we get into that, this video was supported by my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I try to help all my subscribers, but if you would like access to some of the exclusive rewards seen on screen now, please check out my Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, let's get into this video. So, I want this tutorial to be applicable to as many viewers as possible. So for any new viewers, I'll be showing you how to aim and look around in its simplest form. Then for anyone following along from my previous tutorials, I'll be showing you how to do it following on from either my character attack gun or sword episode. So let's get into it. So first you'll need a total of 9 animations, with your character looking in all directions with their weapon equipped. Each should be one frame long, and they should all originate from your idle pose. I'll leave a link in the description if you just want to download either my gun or sword projects, which already have these animations added. Next we need to adjust the settings of these animations so we can use them within our blend space. So select them all, right click, asset actions, then bulk edit via property mix. On the right side, under additive settings, change additive anim type to mesh space. Change base pose type to selected animation frame, then base pose animation to your idle animation. Now right click in your content browser. Under animation, create an aim offset. So an aim offset, like it says in the name, is basically a blend space for offsetting your character to look at your mouse. Call this something like aim blend. Now double click to open it up. Under axis settings for horizontal, put in the details, your as the name, minus 80, then 180. For vertical axis, put in pitch, minus 90, 90. Now we can start mapping animations to certain degrees of rotation. So start bringing in your animations into the grid by dragging them in from the asset browser. Lay them out like so. Now, if you click and move your green icon around, your character should begin looking all over the place. So all you really need is look left, look center, and look right. But by adding the look center animations either side of the look left and right, it means when we look 180 degrees behind our character, instead of him snapping from looking left to looking right or looking right to looking left, he'll go back to looking central. Now, in your Anim BP event graph, off your pawn owner or third person character cast, bring in a get base aim rotation node. Then get actor rotation. Then bring in a delta rotator node and plug these in. Then pull off the rotator and bring in a break node. Then off the Y and Z, promote these to variables and call them pitch and yaw. So these nodes are basically getting the Z and Y values of where our camera is looking. Try not to overthink it too much. In your anim graph, bring in your aim blend blend space, then plug in the two variables we made. Then all we have to do is connect our state machine to the base pose and plug this into our output pose, and that's it. This is all you have to do to implement an aim offset into your program. Now for the guys following on from one of my previous tutorials, let's combine this with our gun and sword attack. So I'm gonna start with my RPG team out there. For anyone following on from my character shooting tutorial, you can skip to here. So this is the method following on from our character attack melee tutorial. So guys, I've actually had to rework our anim BP slightly. Unfortunately, while implementing the aim offset feature, it made it impossible to isolate a limb like the arm. So although we'll have to create a full body draw weapon animation, this new setup is so much better and tidier than the previous. So let's do it. First, we're gonna change the slot on our draw and sheath weapon animations to our default slot. Because we're getting rid of our right arm slot, we no longer need this. Now open up your Anim BP. We're going to rename our lower body to State Machine Ref. Lower body was just the name used for one of my tutorials as we were splitting the body into two. But really, it's just a reference to the State Machine. Now let's add in our Aim Blend Blend Space. Give it the two variables we made. Then bring in a Layered Blend node with the bone name as spine underscore 01 and the blend depth as 4. We don't want our looking around animations affecting the legs, so we need to blend it in from the spine. Then check mesh space rotation. 
plug this into our blend pose. Then bring in two state machine refs, plug them into our base pose for our anim offset and the layered blend per bone node. Now create a cache and call it state aim offset. So now we have our character movement with our aim offset added onto it. Now let's get rid of these right arm nodes to tidy some things up. And lastly, let's replace our state machine refs with our state aim offset. And now we have the ultimate anim BP. Let's run it down quick. We have our blend space movement here. Our aim offset here being blended in at the spine to prevent it affecting the leg movement. Our character will now look around following our mouse. Here we're combining our looking around with the default slot, allowing us to play montage animations from the character BP. Here we're either merging our new animation at the pelvis if we're still, or at the spine if we're moving. And finally, we have our blend poses by Bull down here, either playing the full body animation or upper body one, depending on if we're accelerating. And that is everything. But before you go, I need to answer a few questions. So let's catch up with the gun viewers. So skip to the time on screen now. Okay, let's implement this following on from the character's shooting tutorial. So first we're gonna rename our lower body to state no aim. This is our normal movement without looking around. Now bring in our state no aim cache. Now we're gonna add our looking around aiming onto it. So bring in our aim offset blend space and plug in our two variables into it. Create a new cache called state with aim and plug our aim offset into this. And now we simply want to run our no aim state when we're running around and our aim state when we're aiming. So bring in a blend poses by bool node, then bring in our aiming variable. So if the aiming variable is true, we want to run our state with aim. And if it's false, we want to run our normal animations. And you're done. All right, time to answer a few questions. Question one, do I really need to make these looking around animations for each type of weapon I'm holding? If all your guns or weapons need to be held in different ways, your only option is to create nine animations for each. If your weapons can be held in the same position, two similar machine guns, for example, you can just use the same animation for both. How can I create these animations with ease? Okay, so just open up your idle animation in your modeling software. Delete everything but the first frame. Add your weapon and get your character to hold it in position looking forward. Then just move your character to look in all directions with the weapon following. Export every time he's in a new position. How do I change my anim BP to work for multiple weapons? Don't even trip dog, the upcoming tutorial will be covering this exact topic. So we deleted our right arm blend nodes. What do I need to do to get this looking good again? Well, unfortunately, you'll have to create a full body draw weapon animation. It's now gonna be blended in with the other animations, either with the full body if we're still, or the upper body if we're moving. Do we still need our weapon hold anim? Actually, no. This animation was just used to make sure our weapon was being held in the correct position. For this tutorial, you'll need to create animations of your character holding your weapon. So these animations will replace the weapon hold one. I love your content. How do I give something back? You know what's up. Like, comment, subscribe, and Patreon for that mega epic support. But in all seriousness, guys, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more content. Peace. <laughs>